to Zodens. Oh, I love him. 101 points for Marty's. ABC Top Shot Season 85 reaches its conclusion tonight when Pecunis and Marty's clash at the Warren Sports Centre in the battle for this year's coveted trophy. Don't miss it. Basketball at its best, live tonight. ABC Top Shot. Good evening from the Warain Sports Centre and welcome to ABC Top Shot Basketball. The grand final this evening, Marty's and Pecunis, two southern state cities and they're both firing up for a big clash this evening. Marty's haven't won a grand final before, Pecunis successful in 81 and again in 84. They're hoping for three in a row this evening. Let's take a look at the combinations. Firstly, Marty's. Their big guns are Lindsay Houston to look out for. Also Steve Davey and Dan Van Host Pelican. Whilst for Pecunis, Brennan Stanwick, a surprise inclusion this evening, coming back from injury, Warren Stanwicks and Barry Douglas. It's half time, and surprisingly, Pecunis, who weren't fancied, lead 35 to 30. For some comments, Don Hanson. Well, this is turning out to be a fantastic game. It's got all the drama we want in a grand final with a bit of secrecy. Brennan Stanwicks, who has dislocated his shoulder, is fronting up tonight, and he was a big inclusion in the side. Marty's weren't expecting him to take the court, and his presence on the court gave uh, Pecunis the psychological edge they were looking for. And they've taken off in this first half and lead 35 to 30, and much to Brennan's good work. It's got all the drama with, that we want to have in a grand final, and Brennan who's playing his heart out uh, with that dislocated shoulder. You can see he's in a lot of pain sometimes, but he's doing a tremendous job. Marty's will battle back. It's going to be an explosive second half. Standing room only crowd at rain. Just what we're looking for, and we're looking forward to just an absolutely sensational second half of basketball in this 1985 Top Shot Grand Final. Big first half. Thirty-five, thirty. Bakunas by five. What a spectacular first half of action in the grand final. And a surprise to Wall and Sundry. Rigged up Bakunas. Fired on all cylinders. Marty's with their backs to the walls. Who can win it? Don Hanson. Well, it's just absolutely terrific. I just admire Brennan's courage so much for fronting out there with that injury, and he just played a tremendous first half. Marty's now may have settled down in the second half because they now are over the initial shock of the uh, ploy that Pecunis put out there. Brennan, in fact, the other night at the, at the club game when they played Marty's in a club game, turned up with a big sling and looked like that he was really injured. So that's a big psychological ploy. Marty's now probably settled out, so we're in for a real tough second half. We haven't seen the best of Houston yet in this half, and you see him on the line now making the best of two free throws. So it's 32-35 with Pecunis still in the lead, and it's going to be tight all the way, Pete. Stanwyck's have played a big part in this game, as is Craig Lodeman, who's got position. Off to Dave Shattuck. Barry Douglas working the ball. Bakunas firing up for the third ever top shot victory. If they do so, they'll join the Red Hoppers. They lead by three. At one stage, they lead by 11. Here come Marty's. Long bomb from Coleman, the beauty. Curtis Coleman, he, he's spectacular when he gets firing, and he was the leading scorer in the first half with 17 points now. And uh, he's really looking at the side, and they expect Curtis to come in and do these kind of spectacular things. Just tremendous effort by Curtis Coleman. Let's see a repeat dose from Pecunis, who led from the whistle. Douglas with it. There he is, Brandon Stanwyck's playing with that injury, but doing well to Brother Warren, who makes it two points. And then we've got a tremendous crowd here, and they're really barracking for their sides. Litton with the ball now, 37-34 to Kunis. Wonderful game of basketball so far. This is live basketball action. The final of ABC Top Shot 1985. Rare mistake from Lindsey Houston. He jumped in the air, but couldn't get the shot away, so he was called for traveling. Moving without dribbling the ball, and Kunis take it over again. Dave Shattuck, 900 smackaroos to the winner. Big dollars, big action. It's been a physical game. Oh, yes, both sides are. They played each other a lot, and they don't like each other a lot. So it works out to be a tremendous final. 
with both teams really wanting to win this because this is probably the prestigious basketball event in Tasmania because you have all state teams available to play in this, and this is down to the last two teams and their old rivals. Packed gathering this evening. That's good from Greg Winton. In and out, in and out, and stayed in. Hinton is a Devils player and an outstanding young guard. And that was a wonderful shot. Full square at 37 each of two, 18 minutes remaining. You haven't seen nothing yet, Mark. Lost it, Craig. It's interesting in the gathering this evening, split 50-50. One half of the court, Marty's, one half, Bacunas. No cheering at all from one half and the other, vice versa. Almost a tip in stolen. Lindsay helped on his way. Here's an easy one. Fumble. This time it's perhaps Bacunas fumbling. Notice Bacunas' tactics to stop Martin's fast break with Lindsay grabbing the ball. They try to jam him early, and that's what they're doing. And they're doing it very successfully, so Marty's haven't been able to run, but they got away there. And uh, you can see in the replay here coming up, Nice pass into Linton, up he goes, and Lodeman drills him into the floor. So he's going up for two shots, 37 all. Tie ball game, 17-34. Successful mean Marty's in front for the first time first. in the ball game. They're settling down a bit. I think the psychological ploy that Kunis worked, worked very well. Marty's took a long time to settle down, but they're right back into it now. Linton, the second, no good, just in and out. Good call from Graham Kemp, our umpire from the north. Greg Lansdale, our other umpire, he's from Lawn System, so we have two unbiased umpires. Marty's lead, first time of all game, 38-37. Can a team of stars take off a team that's courageous and really playing good team basketball for Tunis? Stanwick Brennan. Douglas trying to find some room, wasn't there. Curtis lost it. In your face, that was a beautiful block, and then he lost the ball out. But tremendous hustle. Players throwing themselves on the ground. They're not afraid to put in their bodies for this one. This is the big one, the grand final, 1985. Van Horst Pelican nearly lost it. Lindsay, Curtis. no, it's Curtis, two. Three points. Marty's hungry. Curtis needs to settle. Greg Lindsay holding working. his head. He just got smashed right in the face with an elbow, and he's really holding his head. Craig Lodeman, not quite, both want it. Van Hoss Pelican has it, speaks to the referee, settle down. Coleman on screen. Here's Linton. Harding's are feeling much better now, they're working the ball well. Here's the man that lifted him, Curtis Coleman, came in off the bench and played a tremendous late second, late first half. They're working the ball, Davey. That's okay! Five points in it, and the Marty's bench ecstatic. Steve Davies pretty happy. Timeout called. Marty's have wrested the lead back from Bacunas and lead 42-37, and that was a big basket by Steve Davies. Sister Why the turnaround? The Why the change, Don? In the game, the whole tempo well, has changed. It really worked well. Bacunas used the psychological ploy of Brennan Stanwicks there. Uh, they didn't think he was going to play, and Brennan is an outstanding player. And what they'd hoped to do by this is make Pecuna, or make Marty's try to come up with a different kind of defensive system because they weren't counting on Brennan, which they did. And they were very confused early in the game and couldn't quite figure out what to do because they hadn't planned the game attack around trying to stop Brennan. But now that they've seen him and they had a half to settle down, they're right back into it. Pelicar rebounding very well, you see on screen. And they've got the game back together after a very, very shaky start. 42 plays 37, just over 16 minutes remaining. This is the big one, the grand final. Crowd up in the balcony, full house, standing room only. They're up here in the press box even, so we've got them everywhere for this outstanding game. Stanless works. Still working underneath. Warren. Oh. What do you call that, Mr. Henson? That's called a stuck ball. <laughs> stuck ball leads to a jump ball, which means that when the ball, that doesn't happen very often. When it does happen, it's a dead ball, and we go to a jump ball between any two players on the side. And of course, Houston, who can jump out of the gym, should win this, but he didn't. Beautiful pass three. underneath. Here they come. Oh, 
Venice now have a disadvantage. They like to play from the front because they're a good control team. Marty's like to run, so everything's flowing Marty's way in the second half, and that's the half you want to win, not the opening surprises. Van Hulse Pelican moves. There he is, a wonderful drive. Crowd doesn't like it. They think it was a charging call. Only the replay will tell us. Here he comes, Dan on the drive. In he goes. Defensive player standing absolutely Ooh, still. Yeah, me. Oh, uh oh. Oh well. Stan, which perhaps justified him being a little bit uncivil. Yes, yes, that was that was a lot of question that. Depends on who they call it on. I couldn't tell whether they called it on him or the player running the side. But he'll get one shot. Basket successful. That's good. That's good him a big break. 45, 39, Marty's. Would be a hot time in the old Pizza Hut tonight. Let's see if Pacunas can lift. Brennan Stanwick's on the move. That's good. That's a basket. He's got a heart like a pumpkin. That boy is really tough. Two weeks ago, you wouldn't have known the guy could, could even play. Hey, we've got an injury here. Houston is down. This could be a big one. No, it's Curtis. Curtis doesn't wear contacts, I don't think. If he does, they might be somewhere else now. Yeah. A lot of concern. Greg Lansdale's giving the word in basketball, you do not have an injury timeout. You ask the player if he can continue. If he can continue, he stays on. If he says, no, I can't, he must go on. If there's no timeout for injury in basketball, they must be substituted if they're hurt. And I guess he just wanted a fresh towel. Steve Davey taking the ball on the side. There you see the crowd. What the right-hand side of your screen is all Bacunas. Left-hand side, all Marty. Dan Van Hulk Pelican, oh, risky. Davey has it. Let's see what you can do, big fellow. Chases his own ball, not quite good enough. Shattuck. Brendan Stanwyck. Stanwyck's working together, now it's Douglas. He's going to throw. Back to Stanwyck. Gary Douglas. Yes! They're in touch all right. There it is. time left in this ball game. Two points in it. Marty's 45, Pecunas 43. Both teams right at each other's throat. Beautiful move, Houston. Up and no good. A little pushing underneath. This will be an interesting call. I think they'll call it on Greg Linton. Number five, watch Greg Lansdale signals foul. Number five, you pushed. Side ball, three fouls on Greg Linton. You can see it right underneath now. See him give that little shove away. Oh, uh, well umpired. No mistakes from the Zebras on that one. Umpires Kemp and Lansdale. A tough and rugged grand final. Typical of a game in which there's so much at stake. Got a lot of pride at stake in this, both these teams in the South. And of course, they've beaten everyone in the States and throw up at them to get into this grand final. Jolman recovering from injury. Oh. Has some trouble, but does it very well indeed. Greg Linton. Curtis, you're good enough. Just short. Big Dan. The Dutchman on the move. They're Boy. all hungry for it. They go into the boards hard. Lindsay, rubber band. Oh, tremendous effort. Lindsay. Oh, oh take that elbow down, Lindsay. Hey. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Whew. Lindsay really went to the board hard there, and you can see it here he goes. Now, Brandon Stanwyck comes behind him, and a little bit of shove. Ah, was more acting. Wins an Academy Award. There was nothing in that at all. Why did you think so? Well, oh, there wasn't. It really wasn't. That was, he just bumped into him, and then the, the elbow just instinctively came up. But there wasn't anything malicious in that at all. Good aggressive basketball. Oh, you bet. Nothing wrong with that. First one's good. Marty stretches their lead, three points, 46-43. Lindsey Houston, Superman. No good. Referee says, White, you stepped in the line too soon. Red's ball. Just under 14 minutes remaining. This game up for grabs. Gunas in the red, Marty's in the white. The whistle off the other side of the play. Blocking call on Marty. You see it. Marty's camp looking resplendent in there. The red and white. Yes, a good looking side, Marty's. Well sponsored by Marty Zuko, the pizza man. It's good to see this kind of sponsorship in the basketball. Team's looking very well. Shannon. 
Oh, Brennan Stanwick almost lost it. Looking for some space. There's none there. Gary Douglas. Shattuck again. Very patient. A lot of players would have taken that shot. But waiting for his teammates. Loadman. Shattuck under notice. There's the Huss. So Hooter, that means there's only 10 seconds. They're going to have a shot or to lose the ball. There's yeah. not much time. No good. What a rebound. But look at Lindsay fly. What a rebound. He was up and twisted around, and that's forced to the Punis crowd. Notice the facial expression. No one too happy. Brandon Stanwyck coming down, shaking his head. Up he goes. I watch him push on him. Yep, number six. You pushed him. Good call. Umpire's right on top of this game. All coming down the court now. Brandon Stanwyck in the picture before. Three points in it. Marty's who trailed by over double figures midway through the first half. The blue line that Curtis Coleman's on right now is known as the three-point line. Curtis pushed over. If you shoot a basket from behind that line, you get three points. So one score can bring him back up. Big blue circle outside gives that three-point area. Loadman outside that area, not tempted. Nor is Douglas. Houston's got it. Catch me if you can. Not running it because the game's so physical, you take your life in your hands driving in at that basket. Oh, very well set up by Greg Linton. Signal, come on, run him into me, and it's just what he did, and there's a foul. 16 fouls on Pecunas. They could be in a bit of foul trouble here in the second half. 12, 26 to go. Curtis Coleman, two points. That's a big break, 48-43, Marty's on top. And Curtis Coleman's on fire, 21 points for Curtis. Loudman in the action. Can last year's top shot winners hit back? Stanwyck says yes, that's Brennan. Come on, fellas, lift. He's green, he's anxious, now it's three the difference. 48-45. Bill Coleman, he's having a good night. Houston's listed in this half. Magic. 50-45, and Punis are going to have to, still plenty of time, 11.40 to go. Punis will play their steady team game, look for the good shot, they won't panic. Very experienced team out there. Harry Douglas misses. That's a shot they don't need, they don't need Barry taking the long ones. He's one of those strong rebounders, they need him under the boards. Coleman off to Pelican. Flybird. Lindsay, how did you grab that one? Houston's putting on a magnificent performance in the second half. Eunice now talking it over. Let's get this thing settled down. Let's get into it. 52-45. Marty. Douglas to Stanwyck. Brennan. He just played a tremendous game, and he got to admire his courage. Two weeks ago, dislocated shoulder. Didn't look like he would play, and he's just come out here and done a marvelous job. Van Hall's Pelican. No good, and it looks like he's done himself an injury. Score line is 52-47. If you're a Pecuna supporter as we watch the long shot, just a stray. At this stage of proceedings, just over 10 minutes remaining. Panic stations yet? No, not at all. They're the type of team that will keep wearing down on you. They battle along, they do not panic. They're well coached by Keith Scott, who you can see giving them the instructions right now. And uh, he's just telling them what he wants to get done. There's the opposing coach, Buck Davey, a little more excited than, uh, than his counterpart. Uh, you can see both coaches giving instructions here. But both coaches know the importance of this game. This is really the state championships. We don't have a state championships anymore for clubs. But this, this top shot series has evolved into the state championships because all teams are eligible. Curtis Coleman so far playing a magnificent game with 21 points, leading, trying to G up his players. But right now, Marty's are well in ascendancy, but with Pecunas coming back, they're going to be all right. Lindsey Houston only 14 points, which is pretty low scoring for Lindsey. Ball for Eunice, on the other hand, Brennan Stanwyck's magnificent effort with 15, 16 points, and Barry Douglas with 14 are the leading scorers up to this stage. 10.43 remaining. Marty's 52, Pecunis 47. Douglas, no good. Van Ors Pelica up a mile, but loses it to Coleman. Bill Coleman. 
Donald on the bench. Working well. They often start Curtis on the bench because they feel he comes in and gives their side a lift when he comes in. He surely does. He's had the recipe for lifting them this evening. There's no question about that. Houston. Van Hoss Pelican. In amongst the rubble. Good steal by Warren Stanwix, and he is moving. He flies down the court. Flies just a little bit too quickly. Yeah, it took, a, took one extra little step in there. He only allowed two steps in the act of shooting. Begging forgiveness, but no forgiveness from the umpire. Argent five. Martins. Could it be their first ever top shot premiership? Playing Logan wants the ball. Good call from umpire Graham Kemp. You see him go over there, very clearly signal, foul number five, pushing. Ball goes in, Lodeman has it, but he hooks him by the arm, tries a karate throw, unsuccessful. No points, but loses a foul. One Stanwicks, middle brother of the three Stanwicks. Of course, Pecunis are still playing without one of their stars, which is Brandon Stanwicks, you beauty, which is the other brother of the Stanwicks brothers. Uh, the youngest one, Darren, is playing on the Australian University team right now, featuring in Tokyo, Japan. So they're losing one player, but they're really fighting back in this game. Margin back to three. Houston brings it back to five. This is live basketball action from the Wallace Sports Centre Grand Final. ABC Top Shot 85. Pecunis defending the title they won so grandly last year. Marty's. Looking to win it for the first time. Barry Douglas is unceremoniously dunked. Up there, Kazali, but nobody said anything but backboard. Look at him. Fakes him up. There goes Curtis. There goes Lindsay. Harass. They let there it go. There goes Barry. And there goes Barry. Ouch. That wood hurts on the posterior portion of the body. Two free throws. He was in the act of shooting. Act of shooting gets two free throws. First one's up and good. Cuts the lead to four points. Two goals or one three-pointer, and they could be in the front. Under nine minutes remaining. Sydney, recruit, Barry Douglas, no good. Dan Van Horst, Pelicar, no problem. Curtis with some hand signals. The Davy. Marty's lead. Got by Stanwix, Warren. This is handy for Logan. And that's handy for McCunis. It's back to two. Basket is good. Nice break. Nice pass by Warren Stanwix. Congrats. Bowman congratulates him on that pass, and so he should. You see a nice pass coming in. Davey comes up, tries to attempt, hits him, tries to hit him hard enough to make him miss it, but it goes in. One shot. Could pull it to a one-point ball game, and it is. Scorecard a little mixed up. Put him on the wrong way. But there's our scorecard, and as always, it is correct. Marty's 54, Petunas 53. Eight nice and a half minutes remaining. Oh my goodness! Two Petunas players went up and took themselves inside out. But they got the ball. On Stanwicks. Won't give up. What a tremendous team, Petunas. They just play that good team basketball. Work so hard. Put your head on the chopping block, John. Oh, no way on this one. This one's going to be close all the way, and I think it's just going to be the team that happens to have his nose in front in the last few seconds is going to win it. But this, this, both these teams right now are very even. 17 fouls, Marty's, which means for viewers not used to basketball, after 17 fouls, when they're fouled, they get get one and one situation of shooting, which means if they make the first shot, they get the second one free. And that comes up, I'll explain that a little later on. Brandon Stanwicks, the leader, the magnificent trier. What a player. Guess who's in front of the ball game? Yeah. Up and down. Jack and Jill go up the hill. Who's coming down with the water? Houston, a long way out. Not good enough. Coleman. This time, no. Big Dan. Lindsay Houston, you beauty. No score. Oh, the crowd won't like that. We're all looking to see what Graham says. No score. Fouls on 10. See Lindsay grab the ball, and up he goes. And here's a questionable call. How can he have two shots? If he was in the act of shooting, the goal should have scored. And if he was 
wasn't in the act of shooting. He shouldn't have got two shots, but that's the call. First one's good. Tie ball game, 55-55. Clark Kent himself on the line. You betcha. 56-55, and Marty's in the white. Back the lead. Tunis in the red, 55. What a ball game. Hip and tuck. Just a whisker in it. The two class combinations. Long bomb from Lundgren, a beauty. Wasn't a three-pointer, but put Tunis back in front. Oh, I love it. This is great. Crowd loves it. Everything's happening. Only people aren't loving it are the coaches. They're going crazy. Davey. In and out. The grabbers are the Reds, and that's Pecunis. Warren Stanwich will run it down. The hush. Shattuck. Crowd really quiet now. They're really trying to see who's going to get up. And there he is. Red and oh. The man for all seasons. The man from the mantra. 22 points. Burt, dislocated shoulder two weeks ago. Fronts up tonight, playing his heart out. What a player. Since the last time out, another turnaround. This time, the pressure on Marty's. Tunis is too steady for him. They just won't get away. Loadman. Shattuck. Give me some space, he's calling. He's got the ball. Stanwick's Warren. Off to Shattuck. Ten seconds Here we go. In. Yes, Loadman. Trouble time for Marty, 61-56. They've got to call back. Can they call back? I don't know. Martin Cunis playing excellent defense. Litton, no good. Dan Van Horst, no good. Curtis Coleman, good. Good time, Lucky. Oh, they're fighting. See him scrap for that basket. Great play, Curtis. 61-58. Who wants the ball? Nearly a steal by Dan Van Horst Pelican. Shedding up this time. Houston. Here he goes. Here I go. Davey. Van Horst Pelican is in. Davey can't believe it. Sit down. Here you see the call from Greg Lansdale says, holding, push. Not only do they lose the basket, here he comes. Crash. And the basket does not count. No score, and they're going to the other end for Warren Stanwick, who took the charge. It's going to shoot one and one. Now, this is what we were talking about earlier. This is the bonus situation. After 17 fouls, he gets one and one situation where he gets one shot, make the first one, get the second one free. The umpire called that an intentional charge, and therefore, as an intentional foul, he's giving him two shots. I think that's a bit questionable, but there it is. Two shots. Important time in the game, just on five and a half minutes remaining, and Pecunis by four. Right now, everybody's on their toes. The umpires realize if they make a mistake, it could cost the ball game. Any player makes an error, it could cost the ball game. It's right just what we want in our grand final. Excitement all the way, crowd loving it. Curtis underneath, fakes, jumps. No good, Lindsay, two points. Back to two, the margin is two points. Pecunis lead by that margin with just five minutes remaining. Brennan Stanwix. Foul away from the ball, Steve Davey, the call was on number six, holding one and one. Four fouls of Steve Davey. No, oh, you get to see it right there. See him holding him with the body, wouldn't let him get through. That's a holding foul. This is the one and one situation. If he makes the first one, Gets the next one. If he misses it, it's a live ball. First one's up. No good. And the ball's live. And Dan Van Horst up amongst the clouds for the rebound. It's tight. It's tough. But it's terrific. Here goes Linton. Still got it. Davey. Not quite. Too flat. That ring won't let him go in unless they're up in the air and coming down. logan has got it off. Stanwich. Settle for Kunis. They do. Under four and a half minutes remaining. Kunis lead by two points. They lead by four points. That's Barry Douglas. Great play. Nice pass. Good assist. Kunis will work that ball. In basketball, the teams have very set plays, and each player is running to a pattern. Houston, individual effort, and it's good. 64 62. No one will give up. Who's going to be there in the siren? Who knows? Stanwix. 
Heavy work, good support from Loadman. Stan Mix across to Douglas. Not this time. Linton lost it against Loadman. He's a little bit unsettled by that one. A little frustrated. But there it is. He grabs the arm. Caught in the act. And he says, uh-oh. Now we've got a bonus situation the other way. So both teams get to go to the free throw line. That's going to tell the game, Pete. I can tell you right now who makes free throws. This is it. Go to that line with this bonus situation. Eunice went down there a second ago, missed the first one, and lost the ball. Now they've got a chance. Marty's to get two points here. Linton up, and he blows it. Oh, damn mistake. And here comes McEunis on the run. Brandon Stanwicks. Steve Davey, good defense, stopped him from the drive. Loadman. Oh, Douglas. Yes, no, lost it. Coleman, volleyball out there. Coleman creeps it in. Davies is oh, gone. Here they go, Marty's. Linton. Brilliant. Defense in your face. Ouch. Long pass. Brandon Stanwicks, you missed it. <laughs> what a passage of play. How do you like that? That was more action than a barefoot tap dancer on a bunch of tacks. Wow. Ball was fancy. Winton, hungry for one. Lost it. Where's the magic touch? Kunis steadying by four, under three minutes remaining. Stanwix. I don't think I'm going to get a sing tonight, Pete. It's going to be too close. 66-62. Kunis, magnificent team effort. Brandon Stanwix, star of the show. Looking great. Logan a long way out. Under the Brennan Stanwix, and that's handy. That's a six-point margin, and that is very, very handy. And that is very, very nasty. Not a nice play. Well played. Five fouls, and Greg Linton leaves the game, and that's a big goal. Watch this one. Ooh. That's a free kick in Aussie rules. In the back, big score. Cunis taking the lead, 66-62. Call timeout. Keith Scott tell him, oh, look, let's stay relaxed. You can see Warren there. That hurt him a bit. He's really looking for some air. Teammate holding him up, my goodness gracious. Looking for a post to lean on. Keith Scott, coach of Gunas, explaining the situation. Now, let's settle down. We've got a four-point lead. Two minutes, 33 seconds to go. Marty's, now we've got a lift. They just lost Greg Linton, their star guard. They brought in Doug Turner, though. Doug Turner, an absolutely outstanding player, number 13. Steve Clark's coming in, sorry. My mistake, wrong program. No more dances for me. Done. Steve Clark's come in. Warren with one shot. Basket was good. Chance to make a big break here. No good. Marty's down by six. Two and a half minutes remaining. Davies doing the shouting. Coleman handling the ball. Talks cheap. Takes money to buy whiskey. You got to have scores and no yelling. Houston from a Three long way out. Three Yeah! Love him! Three points in it, just over two minutes remaining. Oh, isn't he tough? When it going gets tough, the tough get going, and he was right there. McGinnis with the lead and the ball. Shattuck, Stanwick, two minutes. Down and counting. Title holders lead by three. They won't be able to hold the ball, Pete, because the 30-second clock's in action. They must shoot within 30 seconds, and that hitter tells them they have 10 seconds to shoot or get rid of the ball. Better shoot it, Barry. You're going to lose it. Wasn't In worth time. the wait. Big Dan. Muscle power. Not good enough. Stanwick. Yes. One out play. Five points in it. One minute, 35 seconds remaining. And Bakunas hit for home. The Flying Dutchman brings it back to three. Timeout called by the umpires. Bit of perspiration on the floor where the players are tangling on the floor. It gets very slippery. And the floor, if it, and a player can step in that and really hurt himself bad. So the umpire wisely called timeout, sent for the towel boy. And there he is, doing his duty, wiping the floor up. We don't want any injuries here. This game is too tough. 70, 67, Pecunas. And it looks like it could be their third. Warren Stanwix brings it down. Grant Coleman. They don't need scores, they need time, but only three points in it, it's not enough to sit on. 
That egg won't hatch. Barry Douglas on the drive. Wiseman again. Stanwicks from the side, long and not good enough. Coleman fails. Houston, three-pointer blocked by Brennan Stanwick. Don't the crowd love that one? Oh, that was super play, Brennan. You gotta get up in the clouds to block one of Lindsey Houston's shot. Playing the inspired team. That's a storybook player. If the Gunas could pull this one off, I'll tell you what, it's a storybook ending. 40 seconds remaining, 70 plays, 67. Pecunis by three. Pecunis now have a choice. They can either shoot the ball or take it on the side. The way Brandon Standings is playing, Brandon and I put him on the line because that boy is tough. The smart thing to do is to take it out, but this man has given his heart and his body for this game, and nobody deserves to make the winning shots more. If he can sink two free throws here, on the one-on-one -on -one situation, this would be a very, very handy one -on -one. break. One-on-one, -on -one, the umpire signals make the first one. All the weight is on that dislocated shoulder. Up and no good. Not a storybook ending yet. Oh, the umpires have called red ball. 38 yeah. seconds on. There's time beating Marty. Not yet. There's plenty of time. Three-point situation. They can get their hands on the ball. She went up from behind the blue lines. The game is tied, going overtime. So 38 seconds, but they're desperate times now. And both teams, Keith Scott saying, let's hold the ball. Time's our, our enemy and not the scoreboard. We're in front. Marty saying, you've got to get the ball. Unless we get the ball, we can't score. And if they can't score, they can't win. Let's very, look at very some of the tight. Scorers. Big scorers for McCunis. Look Brennan at that. Stanwick's 24. Warren Stanwick's 15. Barry Douglas, 15. Craig Lodeman, 11. For Marty's. Lindsay Houston, 25. And Curtis Coleman, 23. On the clock, it says 38 seconds remaining. Live basketball action, a thriller. Steve Davey. Not much hair on the top, but plenty of brain power in there. They're going to be working now to steal that ball. Junis cannot hold it the whole time. There's 38 seconds remaining. But don't foul for Junis unless you, if you foul now, they can hold the ball out and win the ball game. Let them have their 30. Don't foul or you're in big trouble. They're watching him closely. Well, they let them have their 30 seconds. They still got eight seconds to score. 23 seconds remaining. Right now, if they foul, they've lost the ball game. Drive. Brandon, no good. Junis with the ball. 12 seconds remaining. Steve Clark, long. No, what's going on? We have Steve Clark's on the, on the mat. This is great. We haven't had this situation before. This is a three-point attempt, right? Fouled in the act of shooting. First time on top shot. He goes to the line and he gets three free throws. How does he feel? He gets three free throws. If he makes all three of them, guess what? We've got a tie ball game. Would you like to be Steve Clark right now? You bet. I'd make them. Why not? <laughs> yes! Number one down. Two to go, Pecunis by two. 11 seconds left in the ball game. Oh, how about some pressure? It's tough enough to make two. Can you make it? Come on. You got your sweet dippy. Here we go, one four to go. Tension, the crowd's going mad. Here we go. Go, Steve. Oh, they're fighting hard, Houston. Who's got the ball? Who's got the ball? Luffy says it's up. Oh, the crowd is just going ecstatic. One shot, 69 70. They get this. It's Marty's. Houston. Coleman shoots. No oh. good. Houston chases. Houston fires. It's all over. Oh, the basket's in. No, it doesn't count. A lot of fun. A lot is gone. One point. The Cunis. This magnificent story comes true. Cunis suffering from injury. Didn't look like they were going to have a hope in hit. And here they come out in the final. Marty's had plenty of chances. Missed three shots in the last little bit. What a final. 70 plays 69. And there's only one man that they can credit it to. Great team effort by Pecunis with Brandon Stanwicks. You just won my vote for man of the year as far as sports concerned. Dislocated shoulder two weeks ago.
fights his way back from that injury, and that's just a magnificent championship effort. Brennan, my hat's off to you. Marty's, you really did a great time. Here we go, the last little bit. Here comes Houston. Could have been a foul there. Up it goes. This could win the ball game on the rim. There he is, he tips it in, but the umpire says, no good, the clock's gone. What an on, one half a second. That's what they lost this ball game. One half a second, tremendous ball game. Final scores, Pecunas 70, Marty's 69, and Pecunas have now equaled the Alderson Redhoppers record of notching three top shot grand final basketball victories. A thriller. You couldn't have done a Ryan Sports Center. You could have done a better if you wrote a script for a game. Could you? Injured player comes in, saves the day, psychological moments, stars battle back. Everything that we ever want in a basketball game is just, we just had. What a fantastic game. What and it's a, a story come line. true. You know, the, ah, oh, it's just, I just, I'm lost for words. It's fantastic. Just a tremendous, tremendous feeling Pecunis must have right now. And Marty's are heartbroken. They really felt they could win this one. And you can see right now, dejected Buck Davy, our coach. <laughs> just feeling terrible. Right now, they've just announced the man of the match. And if it isn't who I think it is, well, there's no tea in China, and I know there is. Excitement reigning supreme. A top match this evening at the Warain Sports Center. And the winners, of course, Bakunas by that margin of just one point. Now to introduce the, or to make the presentations for the official part of this evening, the general manager of the ABC in Tasmania, Mr. John Marshall. Well, talk about the tide test. I think basketball has really got it over cricket this time. There could hardly have been a more exciting finish to this game. And before we present the prizes to the winners, uh, let's give a prize to the man of the match, Brendan Static. If you had to get the award, this was obviously the game to get it, wasn't it? Oh, it certainly was. It was a great game. Bad luck to Marty's. They put up a good fight. I'm sure everybody here really enjoyed the game because it was hard. You know, it was pretty tough, but I'm glad that we won. But, you know, um, even though I bet everybody in here read the paper, I'd just like to comment about that and find out who the critics are because they're wrong. You know? But, 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 yeah. You weren't supposed to be playing, according to the paper. Yeah, well... Admittedly, I wasn't meant to play. I dislocated my shoulder about three weeks ago and uh, have been nursing it. But Paul caused a bit of a problem out there. Couldn't play as hard as I'd like oh. to. So I'm nursing it a bit, but uh, still, I always say, a champion. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> a champion team will always beat a team of champions. Way to go, guys. That prize presented by the Tasmanian Credit Union. The Credit Union of Tasmania, rather. Now, the runner-up. Tony Davey, the coach of Marches. It was disappointing for you yes, to get with one point, but it was a splendid game, and I think you ought to be highly congratulated. And here's a cheque for $300 for coming runner-up, but it could hardly have been a closer game, could it? OK, thanks very much, Chair. Uh, Thanks very much for this check. Uh, may I first of all congratulate Bakunas on their great win. Uh, they were too good for us on the night, but we hope to meet them in the HBO Grand Final and in uh, two or three weeks' time. Thanks very much. Keith Scott, the coach of the winning team, Bakunas. What a thrilling match for you to win. My yes, congratulations. Thank you. The standard, no doubt, has been getting higher year by year, and I think tonight's uh, was probably the best in the eight years that we've been running the competition. First of all, here's a cheque for $900. Yeah. And congratulations from the ABC. And what you really want to win and to take away is this. Uh, 
commiserations to Marty's. It's unlucky. You're unlucky to lose a game like that. It's a very tough game and it was hard fought right through. But I hope people start to recognise our team for what it is. It's a, a good team, solid team. They work hard together. And we had our tough up and down moments over the last three weeks with injuries and we've battled hard to get through them. And it's a credit to those guys for out there tonight fighting. And we've won seven open championships in a row now and I hope people start to recognise how good this team is. Thank you very much. Well, there we have the official presentations. A top night of basketball entertainment enjoyed at the Orwain Sports Centre. And I would suggest that Pecunias, uh, Pecunias, where they celebrate this evening, will do it well, Don. Oh, you bet. That was just, just a super fairy tale ending. They were down, but they are a tremendous team. There's no doubt about it. But with the absence of Darren Stanwick away uh, in Japan and Warren, uh, Warren Stanwick, who had uh, cork thigh just a few weeks ago and didn't look like he was going to be take much action, Barry Douglas sprained ankle, and then Brandon Stanwick's dislocated shoulder, yet they all had the heart to fight back from their injuries and come back and play this basketball game. And that's just absolutely tremendous. Marty's commiserations, you can't say they didn't throw everything they had into the ball game. They did, but that's the way it goes because when the fairy tales are written, Always the good guys seem to come out on top. So the prince, the frog turned into a prince tonight, and there's no doubt about that. Excitement this evening. The final score in the grand final of ABC Top Shot. Bakuna 70 defeated Marty's 69 to win their third grand final of the series of ABC Top Shot. And Don, a special thanks to you for your comments and your companionship during the last seven weeks. It's gone quickly, but what a culmination of top exciting basketball this evening. Thanks very much, Pete. I enjoyed every minute of it, and especially this last game. It was just a, a tremendous experience to be here and, and be a part of it all. Bakuna 70 defeating Marty's 69, a victory by one point in the final of ABC Top Shot Basketball this evening. On behalf of my co-commentator, Don Hanson, and the crew have worked so hard to present, particularly this evening's live presentation from the Warren Sports Centre, Peter Walsh for ABC Sport. Our final program for tonight, the race to Canberra, coming up next.